What's going on, my ASVAB party people? Anderson here, your ASVAB coach. Let's go ahead and take care of a little challenge problem of the day. Only reason this is a challenge problem is because we're mixing in two separate topics, but they're pretty much one and the same here. We're mixing in solving equations. As you can clearly see, find the solutions to the equation. And we're also mixing together that with factoring polynomials. How do we get this done? Well, here's the thing, my party people. Negative x squared equals 16 minus 10x. We can make sure to solve this by doing the following. Number one, when we have, again, quadratic equations where we have a exponent on the variable, step number one, basically get zero by itself, okay? The goal is to get x by itself, right? But when it's quadratic, when we have a polynomial that has a square or a cube or a fourth power or whatever, we want to get zero by itself. Because what we're going to utilize, we're going to take advantage of this technique called factoring. So let's go ahead and show you what that looks like. So first things first, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add x squared to both sides. This is the easiest way to get a zero on one side. So zero, because again, that cancels out, equals x squared. And I'm going to write this in order. So instead of writing the 16 first, I'm going to write the minus 10x first. And then plus 16. So now that we're here, here's what needs to happen. What needs to happen is we need to go ahead and factor this polynomial here. We're going to factor it because once we factor it, we'll be able to actually solve. Here's why. Here's why. So if you're not familiar yet, the factored form of a polynomial typically looks like this. You know, x plus something or whatever, x plus something, whatever. And that's going to be equal to zero. What's going to happen is, hey, look, think of it like this. What's happening between these two parentheses? What operation is happening? Multiplication, right? Yeah. So all that means is, and I'm going to reiterate this in a bit, so don't worry. I'm going to re-talk about this. But if this equals zero, this whole thing was zero, what is zero times whatever this is? It's going to be zero no matter what, right? Right. Remember, we're looking to see what makes this zero. So if this was zero, you're multiplying it by whatever, that would be zero. So find out whatever makes x uh, this zero for the x. Same thing over here. If you have whatever here times zero, still going to be zero. And so that's called the zero product property. And I'm going to show you a little more about that in a moment, but don't worry. Let's just get to the action here because I'm going to bring that idea back. So just remember that I said that, but we're going to go ahead and make this process nice and easy. So what we're going to do is we're going to factor this. Step two, factor your polynomial. And remember that it's really important to use good materials to study for the ASVAB. So if you're looking for great materials, go ahead and take advantage of our Labor Day sale where you can get 20% off your first month of our ASVAB All Access program or 25% off the year or the lifetime packages. So go ahead, sign up, save big, and let's ace the ASVAB. So we have an x squared minus 10x plus 16. The way that this works, when your x squared is just x squared, not like a 2x squared or 5x squared, when it's just x squared, what you do is you take your last number, your 16, and you're gonna find the factors of 16. Because what you're looking for is the factors of 16 that add up to negative 10. So let's get to work here. We know that we can have one times 16, we can have two times eight, and we can have four times four. So look at what you got here. We're asking what numbers multiply to 16 but add up to negative 10. I don't see any negatives here. So what we're gonna have to think about is, well, look, how do you multiply to get to a positive number? Well, you can do a positive times a positive or a negative times a negative. Those are the only two options that you got. So with that said, how do I get those same two numbers to add up to a negative? Well, they both have to be negative. If you add two positive numbers, that's gonna be positive. But two negative numbers, that stays negative when you add them. So two negatives multiply to a positive, but add to a negative. So I know that they both have to be negative, and that has to be negative two and negative eight right here. That's what it has to be. And so with that said, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna have zero equals, and then we're gonna have x minus two times x minus eight. That's the factored form. But we are not done. The answer is not going to be negative 8, negative 2. Be very, very, very careful. We are not done. Remember, what we need is for this side to equal 0. That's ultimately what we want. So this is what we do. Remember, 
that's the idea that I just brought back, remember earlier, I said, hey, remember, these two parentheses are being multiplied together. And so what that means for us, my party people, let me go ahead and fix my screen here. What we need to understand is, if this part equals zero, then the whole thing equals zero. And if this part equals zero, then again, the whole thing equals zero because you are multiplying those two parentheses and you're trying to get to zero. So this is what's called the zero product property. Step three, zero product property, ZPP, zero product multiplication property. What that means is, hey, look, if X minus two equals zero, we have ourselves one of the answers. And on the flip side, if X minus eight equals zero, we have ourselves the other answer. So how do I solve these? Here, I'm just gonna add two to both sides. X equals positive two. If I do the same thing over here, add eight to both sides, X equals positive eight. And if you don't believe me, you can check your work by going ahead and plugging the uh, X value back in or right over here, look. If X equals two, what's two minus two? Zero. What's zero times whatever that's gonna be? Zero. Boom, makes it true, that's gonna be good. And then what about over here? If X equals eight, we'll plug in eight right here. Eight minus eight is zero. Eight minus two is six. It doesn't matter though, because six times zero is still gonna be zero. So boom, that works as well. And that's why the answer is gonna be A two comma eight. Now before you go, again, at the end of the day, what we're trying to do is get better at this. So this is a semi-complicated problem, absolutely. But we need to make sure we know how to do these if we wanna keep elevating our game and guarantee that we get those higher scores. This Labor Day, don't leave Ace and the Yazbab up to chance. You can use the code right over here to save 20% off your first month of our subscription or get an even better discount at 25% off of the year or lifetime packages. It's the biggest sale of the year. Take advantage of it and ace the ASVAB. As always, my party people, I want to thank you for watching our YouTube videos and bettering yourself to get the score and job you want. If you wouldn't mind, please leave a like on this video and comment on your favorite part. That way, more people can see these videos just like you were, and then they get the help that they need. So please do that before you go, and if you wouldn't mind, subscribe to the channel for more. I'll see you next time.